over to the United States, they had 4,000 letters of support, letters from um, six Congress people, four senators, Nobel Peace Prize um, winners, and when they got to the U.S. Embassy, the person behind the desk didn't even open their folder to dismiss mm. them. So it's very, very difficult to bring a young Afghan male to the United States. Any young Afghan male between the ages of 18 and 30 can be a target for a drone assassination, but they certainly are not going to be allowed into the United States. Um, scholarships have just been canceled forthright from um, schools that formerly used to bring up guns here. Uh, so you're right to place hope in that human to human interaction. Um, I've certainly felt tremendous wind in my sails from having gone over and been a guest and treated so hospitably amongst people that have been under our bombs and experiencing the enmity that the United States has shown toward people who've left us no harm. Um, and the, I, I do want to recommend uh, the uh, OurJourneyToSmile.com website as a place where you could look at videos of, that these youngsters have created that give a glimpse into their lives. And also, if anybody's uh, available Hi, tomorrow, yeah. hmm, OurJourneyToSmile.com. And also, um, tomorrow there will be a, um, a Skype phone call that they do for about five hours, beginning at 9 o'clock Chicago time. And you could go to globaldaysoflistening.org and tune into that. Well, I don't remember who it was that said that war is the way Americans learn geography. Yeah. And, uh, it's a really lousy way to learn geography. So I think we can do a lot more people-to-people -people ties uh, without war being part of that. And is there, I, I was passing around a sign-up sheet for Code Pink. Does anybody know where that went to? It, can, you, can you raise your hand if you didn't have a chance to sign up and you might want to? So maybe we could have it going around to this front area over here um, because we do take trips to various places around the world and you can get to know amazing people in amazing places without having to join the military or bomb them. <laughs> And could I just say one more thing along those lines? My young friends in Afghanistan have been stitching scarves that say border free and mm -hmm. the Dine Maris and mm -hmm. Dari. And uh, they're sky blue scarves because they want to say there's one blue sky above us. And they have so much admiration for Anne Wright and for Medea Benjamin. And so from them to each of you. Mm -hmm. And um, Seal, if you don't mind, I just want to bring this to you. <laughs> from all of us to see it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Young, young people should understand that Seal Meyer, 92 years old, is really the grandmother of the peace movement in Calgary, Illinois, and has been vigilant against war on this campus, at least since 1988. And until just recently when her health suffered, was out on the corner at First and Lincoln Highway every Friday afternoon. You know, when Jesse years. Jackson was here, we asked him, we used to have a lot of students. And he said, but before you got rid of the draft, these kids, well, they're not going to be drafted, so they're not going to oppose more. And I'd like to ask this group, what could a bunch of students at NIU do <laughs> in your area. That would be a great way to symbolically show your opposition to drones and uh, towns and cities around this country have been doing that. Um, you, could, you, you could decide that you're going to walk with us from Chicago to Battle Creek, Michigan from <laughs> June 3rd to 14th and have a sign in our against drones. She's come back uh, to me. Certainly, uh, You've wow. got a chance religious uh, faith-based groups on campus. You've got uh, professors. I think uh, you have a right to say we want our curriculum, we want our course content to reflect the problems we really are facing, problems that have to do with socioeconomic inequities, environmental degradation, and bloated militarism. And we want our coursework to equip us to deal with those problems. And we want that to happen now.
Yes, we are. And I will do the we put a bunch of old people now in the interface network. We need some fresh blood. <laughs> and one other thing you can do is come to DC. We have a code pink house, a place where you can stay. You can learn a lot from people who go to Congress with us. Go meet your Congress people uh, in the uh, in the hearings, and um, we invite you to come for a week, a semester, internship. <laughs> Five minutes. Info at code.org. Or call your local police station. They'll get in touch with you. <laughs> <laughs> On that subject, I have to share this. One of the first.